Um, I am an MFA in Community Arts candidate to graduate uh, now, May 2022. Um, this is my exhibit work for my thesis. It's called Murmuration Sits at the Intersection of Trauma, Healing, and Time. And it's about the pieces that we take with us as we move through a traumatic event into our next iterations of who we are. Um, and then these light boxes uh, play on the notion of time the photograph of me on the left for each color is a 10 second exposure. The photograph on the right is a 1 200th second of. And so there are these juxtapositions of time, similar to how trauma is nonlinear, that play out throughout the whole piece. Graduating is overwhelming, it's scary, and it's also really beautiful and really positive. I feel proud to have accomplished what I did and I don't really know what comes next. I'll be looking to expound upon my experiences here and the skills and relationships I've formed here. Um, hello, my name is Kenneth Craig Clemens. Fine Arts, Community Arts is my major. The space is all about um, voices collected and as kids, we usually roll up a, a, um, a piece of paper. We want to amplify our voices. We always say, hello. So within these spaces, these connections are from experiences. As a community artist, gathering um, vocal information, whether a guest wants to, has um, positive um, affirmations of what would they like in their communities. So for example, I have one of the images which is called um, engineering and what I really love about this image here is as kids we start off as using building blocks or Legos and you know we may have some of these young engineers who are going to be future architects so there's some symbolism as in hard hats and the gear and the, the usual um, architect and the blueprints. And it has this nice quote, so I took a quote that can be tied into this image. And we have this image of two kids painting a mural within a gymnasium, all dirty clothes and all, and painting different themes within the arts, such as um, music or drama, symbols of art. And what's so cool about this installation is within the four spaces, there are four books. Yes, there are four books disguised under which looks like a big giant microchip. So it would say a sign that just says, read me please and thank you. And we get to pull. And within the book, it has a set of directions of how to open the book. And it says, open book here. So I'm allowed to demonstrate. So there's this image. So one half of the, the first half of the image is all about engineering. So there are some scenery references in terms to the image of, oh, about the subject of engineering. Some y'all may know from a Marvel Comics movie, The Infinity War, so this is the Infinity Gauntlet. And this awesome item is also wearable. But it also blinks in three different speeds. There's these six gems also really signifies um, the space, but also has a really cool effect on it. My graduation, I feel as though this is a, another huge stepping stone for me as a community artist. But do I want to sleep from there? Oh, no, no, no. As a matter of fact, I currently work at Port Discovery um, Children's Museum, and I have asked the president if I would love to do, replicate the same 
um, gallery space within their museum space. So I would love to continue to not only create spaces like this, but also to continue on the pursuit of education and stressing the importance of education. But if so, I would love to have this installation as well, potentially at Light City Festival. And, um, continue to produce um, um, more, more light-related artwork, even wearable as well. Awesome. Yes. I think you have so much detail in your piece and say everything you like is a story. Okay, I'll decide to take out a wide shot. Yes. Hi there, my name is Noor Khan and I am a second year graduate student in the MFA Community Arts Program. Um, this is my thesis exhibition. Uh, it's titled 37 Cars Lake. I um, created the artworks in commemoration of um, my aunt and uncle's home um, in Ontario, Canada. Um, it's, a, it's in a suburb of Toronto called Scarborough. Um, every single piece in this um, exhibition um, is a reminder of um, pieces that exist in that house or structural elements inside the house um, and how um, the house was a communal space for me and my family um, as we migrated to Canada. Um, the house is also um, a temporary home for many families, five generations. Um, and a place where a lot of us learned what community meant. Um, so I have five pieces um, in this exhibition um, that commemorates um, the work, and that is um, reaffirmations, which are the wall panels. Um, the wall panels were modeled after wall panels that actually exist in um, the house, um, and they are engraved with birthday cards that were given to my mother in the house um, in one of the many years where she, when she celebrated her birthday. And um, Reconstructions is a, a reconstruction of um, a shelving unit where our TV used to be. Um, and uh, found bags uh, that are woven and upholstered um, in commemorating my mother and her migration story. Um, as well as my dad's migration stories, um, which are commemorated by um, engraving on plastic hard shell baggage. Hi, I'm Alexa Janae Oliveira. Um, I'm a second year graduating from the Community Arts Program here at MICA. Um, this space right here is my thesis exhibition. Uh, it's the work of the past two semesters and my work in community here in Baltimore. Um, so for my thesis, I uh, wrote a lot about um, nostalgia and um, having these memories of my family and feeling disconnected from my culture. Um, when I moved here to Baltimore away from my community in California um, and so I started to write a lot about that and make artwork about this feeling of homesickness and longing and missing my family um, and basically um, I centered my project around this term called uh, chorare which is a Portuguese term meaning uh, nostalgia and melancholy um, and so my pieces are about me missing my family uh, recreating religious cultural traditions from my Azorian community and uh, trying to create a space that makes me feel at home because I can't partake in these these things with my family members or my community um, and it actually ended up my install and exhibition ended up lining up with a lot of the time frames that these like cultural events take place back at home with my family so it's been a really great experience to have this up while my family gets to do this at home with each other and I'm like participating with them in a sense. I'm Amarashida Pullman Bay. 
and I am um, an MFA, soon to be graduate, um, with the Community Arts Program here at MICA. And my art exhibit is entitled Ancestral Art and Community Rituals, We Are Not Alone. And in this piece, um, this is my thesis project, um, I started off as a performance. So I did a performance March 12th where I utilized the art within my performance. So I have puppets and um, paintings, my igungu masquerade. These were all a part of the actual performance that we did. And the performance really was focused on showing the power in community rituals and the healing that happens when we do rituals together, whether it's dancing, singing, acting, meditating, um, all of those things and all of our spiritual walks, when we do them together, there's something powerful that happens. So uh, the artwork really is about how we can assist each other in being our highest selves in community so that we are never alone. Sometimes in Western society, we are by ourselves. In indigenous societies, community rituals happen, whether it's baptism or whether it's at the water praying or whether there are fire ceremonies, whether there's meditation, people are doing it together and together there's a power that happens. So you'll see my work here is an Igungu masquerade from uh, Nigeria. It is from the Ifa tradition and I made this mask uh, to um, remind us of our ancestors so that we can remember who we are because in most traditional societies we hear a community and out, we have a community with our ancestors those who've gone on before us they are a part of our community as well and we remember them everybody and everything the cycle of life goes on so um, I um, will be going on to continue doing art continue hopefully to teach. I have a company called Wound Work Productions. I do social justice theater and I want to continue um, directing shows that deal with socially um, uh, conscious and social justice issues. And um, I just was awarded the Bromo Seltzer um, Fellowship for, at the Bromo Seltzer Tower. So I'll be have a st free studio for a year and I'm very excited about that. I'm looking forward to sharing the sacredness of art because I believe art is healing and I want to continue sh sharing the sacred uh, healing art with others.